Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss how to install, download, and install Jenkins, and how do we start it. Almost all are implementing continuous integration and continuous deployment. What exactly is that? So continuous integration means automatically building and testing the code compared to continuous delivery. So CI/CD, you may would have seen that the weekly releases or whenever you see the flip card, right? Today, they might be an offer might be there. So tomorrow it might disappear. So always a release is happening. There. Always a continuous integration deployment is happening. So one of the tool we can use for that is Jenkins, right? So let's see how, what are the specific requirements for Jenkins. So to download Jenkins, we have to have this hardware and software requirements. So what are those? We need at least 256 GMB of RAM. So 1 GB of disk space, although 10 GB is recommended. Minimum for running Jenkins as Docker container. So recommended for hardware configuration, like these are minimum. These are recommended. 4 GB of RAM, 50 GB of drive space. These are just recommendations. So now let us let me see what exactly they are telling. What is it, Jenkins? Here. It's a leading open source automation server to support building and de deploying, automating any project. Okay. So now let me uh, click on this one. Download Jenkins 2.4.401.1. So click on this. It will get download. So one of the prerequisite required for this Jenkins is Java. So let us see CMD. So in order to install Jenkins, the Java should be 11 or 17. Let us see Java minus minus version. So the Java version which I have is 17. So let me write Java. Before writing that, I should be in the location because uh, it downloaded in downloads. So I'll write Java minus jar. So space Jenkins dot jar space HTTP port equal to we can take any port here. So I'm just taking 9191. So I just have to click on enter. So unable to access Jenkins file. So only thing I have to do here, the uh, Jenkins dot war app, right? I added Jenkins dot jar. So now it is starting reboot. So it will extract all the information. So it will take a little bit of time. So this is the file you have to, this is the thing you have to copy it. So you have to make sure that uh, this is copied. This is the initial password. So this is also found in this location. Uh, then skin secrets initial admin password. So you have to enter that while uh, logging to Jenkins. So you can see Jenkins is fully up and running. So now, since Jenkins is full up and running, HTTP localhost colon 9191991. Since this was the port which was created by me. So first give the password which you copied. The password is this. Let me click on continue. So here now you are setting up the Jenkins. So there are two things here. First you have to install suggested plugins or select plugins to install. So install suggested plugins, you'll already have the plugins which they would suggest and they'll install it. Click on this. You can you could see that all the plugins they'll only install by default. The folders, pipeline, workspace, email extension. These are all the pipelines they have suggested. They will install by default. It will take a little bit of time. Uh, so now all the process is done. So it will ask me to create uh, the first your admin user, you can just add uh, and continue. So now, yeah, the host I want, the Jenkins URL should be this, save and finish. So your Jenkins is almost ready. Your Jenkins setup is complete, but some plugins require Jenkins to be restarted. ETB instance does not support automatization. Please manual restart instance now to complete installation. So let me restart it. Starting the port here. So I add again Java jar Jenkins.war and I'm giving the port 9191. Restart my uh, Jenkins again. So here I'm getting welcome to Jenkins. I can put my username, which I have added. 
and the password. I can add, so I'll click on sign in. It should be able to sign into my Jenkins. I'll just put, uh, keep me signed in. See, this is now my Jenkins. It is now uh, created in my local machine. So yeah, these are the, so from here we can start our CI CD pipelines, etc. That's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're new here, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.